So first let's go to the licensing manager and look to see what our licensing state is. Okay, so it says expired. It comes out of the box with the evaluation maintenance, but let's not worry about that. Let's create a request. What this is is just a simple text file that we just need to save somewhere. Um, you can either save it to the desktop or what I recommend is saving it to a dedicated folder on the C drive underneath AutoStore Files folder. Um, we're going to create a new folder, just name it uh, AutoStore uh, License Files. Okay. What I typically do is name the file by today's date with a .txt extension. Okay, so we hit save, then let's go to web license. Okay, a website's going to pop up. Um, it's going to be our web license portal. What this is going to allow us to do is actually generate our license. Okay, so if you're a returning user, you'd be able to log in. If you're not, just see the new user create account button and uh, log in from there. So for this, typically you're going to have an evaluation license. Okay, uh, with an evaluation license, you don't need a license number. Okay, so all you need is the generated file that we had just created 30 seconds ago which is located in our auto store license file is the text file okay then just give it a server friendly name and you'd be able to actually have a 30 day eval license what I want to do is actually uh, put a NFR license on so I'm just gonna call it demo and put the INV number in and I'm great okay so this is a snapshot of what's loaded on that INV number I just select the slider over to the right and I hit submit. What this just did was it created our license. So I'm just going to download the license, which is a text file, and it's going to go to our downloads folder. Okay, you're also going to be able to get an email address based on your account. Okay, so let's navigate to our download folder. I just loaded in the text file that I just downloaded, and as you can see, the NFR has applied and we are good to go. Thank <laughs> you.